Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingram in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for October 13, 2023. Got a pretty hefty new arrival video to show you guys this week. Nothing like last week, but still a ton of killer stuff and some key, uh, key titles. But I'll start with a small amount of the pre-orders we got up on the website this week. We're going to start with, they're doing Thin Lizzy's uh, Vagabonds of the Western World. They're doing a Ford LP, I think it's a Ford LP box set with like concerts, demos, the album. That comes out October, or excuse me, uh, November 17th. They're also doing a 2 LP version of it. I think it's on maybe purple vinyl, which is kind of cool. It complements the album cover. So you can get it either way. The next Steely Dan has been announced. This is Gaucho. These are the $29.99, uh, mastered by Bernie Grumman, cut by some random guy. Uh, but they've gotten really good reviews up till now. So Steely Dan Gaucho, that comes out December 1st. This is a weird one. I figured I'd throw this, throw this on the pre-order list. I'm curious how it does because it's sells when I have it in the store pretty well. And that is Millie Vanilli. They're doing a greatest hits album. It's kind of weird because they're on the cover of the record and it's got a couple of the tunes that they did on it, but it's Millie Vanilli. Most of the stuff that they have on the greatest hits is not them, right? But yeah, I think it's 2023. I think most people don't know anything about Millie Vanilli or the people who do are probably past it, but I'm curious. We got Millie Vanilli's greatest hits coming out November 10th. I'm wondering how something like that does. Uh, the next two Tone Poets have been announced. Grant Green's I Want to Hold Your Hand, great, 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 great record, comes out December 1st, and McCoy Tyner's Expansions also comes out December 1st. So yeah, a couple of solid titles. I wanted to tell you guys about our international shipping. There's kind of been an update to it as of this past week. I've told you in the past, we're doing international shipping now. It's great. You can shop in your own currency. All the customs, duties, taxes, everything are the final price you see at the checkout. No surprise bills, invoices, nothing. Uh, it was done by DHL, Worldwide Express, which was like their one to three day service. Although I don't think I've ever seen anybody get it in another country in a day, but mostly three days. It took about three days. But they're doing a hybrid service now. It's still customs, all that. It's all paid for. You don't get any bills, but it's a little bit slower service. And this kind of is a hybrid between the post office and DHL. I think they use the post office to send it to a DHL hub. And then DHL does the last end of the delivery. And it saves quite a bit of money. I shipped... A guy, a couple records to England the other day, and it was like 21 pounds, which with my one pound mailer and then the couple of records, that's a pretty aggressive price. I was pretty shocked by the pricing. So you might check that out. Also, again, I'll remind you guys, we're still doing ultrasonic cleaning. This past week, especially with all the Rocktober titles and some of that stuff, man, I was just buried with cleaning records, flattening records, uh, replacing records. So I'm a little behind on that. I'm finally going to probably be caught up later today. But I will say as a service that's well worth it to get nice. God, I wish when I was buying records 10, 15 years ago, the option of being able to make sure I get nice, perfectly clean records, ultrasonic, in a MoFi inner sleeve, in a Japanese outer sleeve, perfect every time in my door. It's a killer service. Check it out. And let me show you guys this week's new arrivals. Starting with, this is cool because when they did the 50th anniversary box set, it was like, this was a cash grab. If you wanted to buy either the Dolby Atmos or the new 50th anniversary remaster, you had to buy the box set. You could get the live album right away, but you had to buy the box set. Well, the box set sold out in a week and was out of print immediately. You never could get it again. I got emails like, hey, man, I know you're not a Dolby Atmos. You're not a digital guy, Mike. I'll give you 75 bucks for the CD. And it's like, yeah, I don't want to break up the sets. I'm like, no, nah, we're not going to do that. But it is kind of nice that you can now get everything from the box set minus the box set itself, that Russian nesting doll, box in a box in a box in a box. You can now get it all separately. So 50th anniversary on vinyl, or you can get 
the, uh, the Dolby Atmos. It's not only Dolby Atmos, it's Dolby Atmos 5.1 surround mix, and then you also got the 24-bit 192 uncompressed high-res file in there. So, yeah. Put that right there. Okay, the latest Tone Poets, these are actually from last week, but I didn't have them in time to show you guys for the video. Great record, like a $300 record if you found a clean copy. Jackie uh, McLean's Demon Dance. Uh, an exceptional Tone Poet, really good. And another record that will just cost you an absolute arm and a leg, if well, I'm talking like real arm and a leg, not hundredth, but like thousand plus. Herbie Nichols Trio, this is Blue Note 15, 19. Uh, originals of this, again, very rare, very expensive. All analog, cut by Kevin Gray from the original Master Tapes on both of those. Another pretty cool release, Black Sabbath. This is a LP of their 1997 reunion concert. So what is that? Three disc, three disc set, reasonably priced. Three disc, 50 bucks. This is on Purple Smoke of Vinyl. 16 live recordings of their greatest hits, remastered from the original source tapes, Includes two remixed bonus tracks. Psycho Man and Selling My Soul, the Danny Saber remix. We've got a Abbey Road half-speed mastered version of Credence Clearwater Revival's Willie and the Poor Boys. Kind of a thicker tip-on type jacket. I showed you guys this record. I got the last few copies that my distributor had. This is the all analog, very reasonably priced, Kevin Gray cut T-Rex Electric Warrior. I sold out of these things like lightning quick. People kept emailing me about it. Are you gonna get more? I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get more. I got 20 copies. That was the last amount they had. Here they are. Really good, highly recommend it. Ludicrous. Word of mouth, part of the Hip hop 50th anniversary. So we're definitely gonna see an influx of uh, hip hop this year. I have no idea what this is, but this is one of the coolest titles for a record I've ever seen. This is music to freak your friends and break your lease. Heinz Hoffman Richter, Symphony for Tape Delay. Uh, this is on Real Gone Music. I'm gonna classify this as a, an electronic record, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's see, yeah, Moogtastic and Frighteningly Rare 1974 album. This is limited to 750 copies on sea glass with black swirl vinyl. Lorraine, I Killed Your Dog. Some more, some of the uh, Rocktober titles were delayed or they either were delayed or they purposely delayed them, but we're still getting some stuff in that, you know, had later dates. Most of them came last week. But Matchbox 20's North and Matchbox 20's Mad Season. Both of these are Rocktober titles. First ever standalone vinyl pressing, uh, two LP blue, sky blue vinyl. Also for Rocktober, more than you think you are on a violet vinyl as well. This is Jim Croce, the definitive Croce. This is a three LP set on black vinyl. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, it's kind of like a box set, but it's not. Don't mess around with Jim, life and times, and I got a name. It's just included in this trifold, kind of like uh, the Who's Tommy. I got a very small partial order of this title, and I have the rest coming in later on this week. So if I do sell out of it, put a restock notification in for it. I'll have more on the way. That is AFI's Sing of the Sorrow. Very, very in-demand title. I had it up for pre-order. The pre-orders are covered. They're all going to go out, and I got a few left over, but a majority of these will be on the restock. You know, the last pressing of that thing is going for a ton of money. The Tom Waits... Uh, Bone Machine, Tom Waits Bone Machine. I think they did about six Tom Waits records, kind of the more difficult, harder to find stuff. Bone Machine and of course Black Rider, very expensive record, you know, for an original. They're doing a full reissue campaign of Aerosmith now that they are on Capitol. This is Draw the Line on Capitol. What 
is this? After the magic, paranoia, para, paranoia? Uh, let's see, on magenta magic vinyl. We also have, and I think this, this is a good one. This is another one that I only got a very small amount of. I got the rest coming in a couple days. They break up. Sometimes when you buy a lot of stuff, you know, and you got 30 boxes coming from UPS, they don't deliver everything day one. Sometimes they break it up. But check this out. The Cranberries to the Faithful Departed. This is, there's two versions of this coming out. I feel like, I think I got a single disc, and maybe this is the double disc. Yeah, this is the double disc. Uh, featuring three previously unreleased demos recorded in Paris, 1995. Love the Cranberries. One of the very first albums I ever bought with my own money was um, Black Cover. Kind of looks like this, but the Black Cover has uh, Dreams. Brain Fart, sorry. Bought it on cassette tape. This was a great album too. Hollywood, Salvation, a couple big hits on it as well. Olivia Newton-John's Greatest Hits. Glenn Danzig, Black Aria. When's uh, Glenn Danzig going to put out the albums that everybody actually wants? <laughs> like all that Sam Hain stuff. Zach Bryan. This is a restock it sold out much quicker than I thought it would. I guess I underestimated the later years of Van Halen stuff, but I guess I shouldn't have because, uh, you know, these albums are an arm and a leg. This is 5150 OU8112 for unlawful carnal knowledge and balance, which alone is like 400 bucks now to get an original of that. And there's a Studio Rarities disc, but got a restock on that just from uh, last week. Gucci Man, Breath of Fresh Air, on vinyl for the first time ever. Did I say Gucci Man? Gucci Mane? One of those two. This is actually a good album. I got an original of this about a year ago, and I listened to it, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, Lydia Lunch, Queen of Siam. We've got White Snake, the purple album. Asking Alexandria, where do we go from here on blue vinyl? This is a Rocktober restock. I got a few restocks on the stuff that sold out. This is the new all analog cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray, Van Morrison's Astro Weeks. This has been really popular. This was actually really popular as well. I think I was checking out the Dead Wax when I was doing cleanings. I was looking at them all. I'd have to double check this. I have a feeling this one was cut by Chris Bellman. It looks like Chris Bellman cut a few of these Rocktober titles. This might have been the one. Uh, yes, yes, singles. This is a new collection of singles on vinyl for the very first time. A couple of restocks here I kind of made it in the middle. I normally put these towards the end, but the all analog. Uh, Kenny Burrell, Midnight Blue, one of the absolute greatest jazz albums of all time, like a top 10 record. Highly recommend it. That is the Kevin Gray Blue Note Classic series. This is Stevie Wonder's Inversions. This is technically not a restock, but this is a reactivated skew. One of the very few times, they don't do that very much, to where they actually just say, okay, this was previously discontinued, but we're reactivating it. Kind of like if they want to put back the Beatles mono, for instance, in the print. They could theoretically reissue it, make it a new release, or they could reactivate it. Uh, typically when they reactivate it, the price is relatively similar. I vote for reactivation. Kenny Burrell introducing Blue Note Tone Poet. And this is a Tone Poet I haven't had in a long time. It was going for about $100 there for a while. Donald Bird's Chant. Those are the back in stock. And... This is a Rocktober restock. This is the Stone Temple Pilots, kind of uh, their greatest hits. Thank you. Deftones, 20th anniversary limited edition of their self-titled. All right, here we go. This is the Steve Miller Band. 3LP box set of the Evolution of the Joker. So it's a 3LP box set, a uh, 7-inch single, a 60-page book, Featuring never-before-heard recordings. 
And the coolest part about this whole box set is the lenticular cover. It flips back from him being masked and unmasked. I think somebody asked us to order that. Another Rocktober title, Fleetwood Max Mystery to Me. From Music on Vinyl, we've got Weather Reports Heavy Weather. This is numbered to 1500 on Peach Colored Vinyl. This is number 319. Scaring the Hose, JPEG Mafia, all white vinyl. The original soundtrack performed and composed by JPEG Mafia. I've never seen Scarring the Hose, rated X by an all white jury. There it is. Kind of looks uh, like a 70s black exploitation film, but uh, I've never seen that. We got Mario Castro and Samba S.A. This is on Mr. Bongo. And I, this looks good. Uh, not a record I'm familiar with. This is a sublime bossa nova and samba rarity from 1967. Sampled by Cut Chemist. It's sad that they have to sell these old records by mentioning who they're sampled by, but it works. People buy them. But I'm sure this is probably quite good. I'm going to stream that. We have Blanket Forms, Refract. Ah, now that's what I call country, the very best of country. The 15th anniversary edition on lemonade colored vinyl. Carrie Underwood, Rascal Flatts, Toby Keith, Darius Rucker, Luke Combs, Little Big Town. You know, I don't know any of this music because I don't listen to country, but uh, this looks like a lot of uh, a lot of country hits from the last 10 years. Ooh, REM's Automatic for the People on Yellow Vinyl. This is the Indie Record Store exclusive version. Love this record. Really good. Might be one of my favorite. I think this is probably my favorite REM record. Angel Witch, the self-titled with a Halloween label art on Halloween vinyl. Jack-o'-lantern vinyl, they call it. Jack-o'-lantern vinyl. And just in time for Halloween, we've got John Carpenter's anthology. This is movie themes, 1976 to 1988. It's funny, it says anthology two on the hype sticker, but not the actual, oh, never, never mind. The two's cut out and it says it on the back, but not on the front. Technically. And then you have, what is this? Same thing. Anthology 2. This is the indie exclusive. The Thing Blue Vinyl Edition. The Thing. So, uh, yeah. Both ways. The Sugar Cubes. Life's Too Good. I actually played this for my wife maybe a week ago. Huge Bjork fan. Huge. She loves Bjork. You know, me either way. It's not bad. But uh, I saw one of these come in, and I'm like, how do you like, you know? Asked her if she was a fan of the sugar because She had no idea the connection. But, I, you know, she's a fan now. Meat Puppets, Up on the Sun. This is a new reissue of it. It's got uh, 2023. This is a new pressing of The Doors. This is The Doors, L.A. Woman. Available on a limited edition sun yellowed transparent colored vinyl. So it recreates the original cover, right? With the window, the transparent film, the rounded corners, but it's on yellow vinyl. Johnny Cash, let's see, limited edition orange vinyl on Sun Records. Caskets, Lost Soul, clear with the gold black splatter vinyl, only 1300 Andrew Bird's Bowl of Fire. Andrew Bird's Bowl of Fire, Thrills. 
This is Oh the Grandeur. I'm gonna have to censor this one. This is the drums, Johnny. What the hell's going on here? And we just, I'm not gonna show you the back. Hopefully I did a good job on that self uh, editing there to where I don't have to do any post uh, work and edit that out. The Fall of America 2. Musical interpretations of poems from the fall of America. Let's see, in association with the Allen Ginsberg estate. Sleep token. The place will become your, this place will become your tomb. I think it's a double, but man, that thing feels heavy. Clear and black marble vinyl. Joe Bonamassa's Blues Deluxe. Let's see, 180 gram double LP. Okay, so this next one, I don't know what the hell I ordered this for. I don't know what this is. And the very first thing that happened is my processor is like, what the hell is this and why did you order it? And I'm like, you know, I don't ever remember ordering that and I probably didn't order it. But anybody have any idea what this is? Lori Berkner's Buzz Buzz? This is a limited edition red vinyl version of Buzz Buzz. And apparently this has been out for 25 years. Is that what that says? 25 years, 25 years what? Has this been around for 25 years? The pretzel store, ice cream cone, magic box, rum sum sum. I don't know. Maybe this is uh, the next Taylor Swift. I, I don't know. Don't remember ordering that though. Darius Rucker. Carolyn's Boy. We've got, it's a cool cover. DeLacy, The Girl Has a Dream. Hmm. Kind of looks like the, uh, the moon with the Coke spoon from Studio 54, kind of, you know? Right, right? Maybe? We've got Arkell's Laundry Pile. That is on Universal Canada Music. Mary J. Blige's Christmas album. This is the anniversary edition of A Merry Christmas, but includes two never released songs. This is England's newest hit makers. This is the mono from the box set, the Rolling Stones standalone mono disc. And the last two, we have Otep Hydra, 10th anniversary 2LP set from Kraft. And continuing the 50th anniversary of hip hop from Def Jam, we've got Young Jeezy. Let's get it. Thug Motivation 101. Oh, look, he's got filing cabinets full of money. Nice. Ooh. He's counting his stacks. Yeah. All right, guys, that is it for this week's new arrival video. You can buy all this stuff online at theingroove.com. Until next time.